Ooh, okay. So we have uh, we have a pot of greed here. Rare. And... <gasps> yes! What's up, guys? And welcome to their epic unboxing. We're going back to Legend of Blue Eyes. Of course, we opened this multiple times already in this channel, but if you guys want to check out our previous video of this, definitely check it out. We have yet to pull the Exodia, any of the Exodia pieces. And um, I'm quite frustrated that we have not yet. We, we pulled so much of these packs and no Exodia. Uh, like, what's funny is we pulled the Blue Eyes, we pulled the Darbogician, we haven't yet pulled the Red Eyes. I think that's another one that we want to pull as well. But there's literally five Exodia pieces and we can't even pull one of them. So <laughs> what kind of ratio is this? But nevertheless, we are back with some more. And of course, join me in this video is our good friend, your friend, Mr. Bear. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you guys are looking forward to a little blast from the past in a good way. In a very good way. This is actually this is a, technically a reprint, the 20th anniversary one, so not quite in the past of like 2002 or any of the other previous reprints, but still a nostalgic run nonetheless. Now, Liam, of course, was not in our last video, so now I can see this famous line. Liam, what can you tell me about Legend of Blue Eyes? So guys, being the 20th anniversary, of course you know they bring back the iconic cards that we love and the legendary Exodias. Now the Blue Eyes still holds a very significant value at $50.88. It actually and went up since the last time recorded too. Yes, yes, and the Exodia parts, well, we can safely say the Exodia parts have held their value a little bit, but not too well, but they're still well over the $12 mark for each piece being the uh, head of the piece being the most expensive at uh, $24. Is that the second highest the Exodia head? Uh, of the Exodia parts, the second highest card on the set is the uh, iconic Red Eyes Black Dragon. Okay, so yeah, obviously we want the Red Eyes as well. So we do have 10 packs here. So we'll definitely see what we can do and uh, definitely, guys, press a like for luck. And let's do this thing. Now, obviously, we do have more uh, for the 20th anniversary. We have the Feral Serpents, we have the Metal Raiders, we have the Skull Rulers, Invasion of Chaos. That's still obviously coming down the road. Um, so definitely subscribe for those as well. Now, I think there it's three to the front or four to the front. I think it's four to the front. I think it's four to the front. Yeah. All right. We have the Skull Redbird. Oh, yes. The Wasteland. All cars I can actually pronounce. <laughs> the uh, Beaver Warrior. The Dark Grey. The Sparks. I don't know, I'm doing this weird voice. But of course, I, I still got a little, a little cold. I'm, I'm slowly getting you know, over it, but I still got a little bit of that cold in my throat. We have the Ray and Temperature. The Fire Yoko. Yo, 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 something, something like that. Masaki, the Legendary Swordsman. And we do get a rare here, the Dark Fire Dragon. Probably not worth too much, but we'll just check it out. Uh, number 19. Uh, that is a strong-ish 62 cents, my friend. Really? That's actually really high for a rare. Mm -hmm. That is definitely sleeve-worthy in our chapter. All right, let's do this. Now, there is an idea we have uh, featuring some of the legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon packs. Um, we're not going to reveal what that plan is, but uh, my boyhood dream is to get all of the Blue Eyes, sorry, all of the LOBs from it, that's in first editions. I haven't got all of them, but uh, that's one of my boyhood dreams. But we have an idea of how we can accomplish that without breaking the bank here in the business. But obviously when I, when the idea actually comes to fruition, we'll definitely let you know. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the waves, but uh, yeah, that eventually that idea, idea will you know come to fruition. And I'm very, very excited to share what the idea is because I'm, I can finally complete that boyhood dream. But Back to the 25th. All right, we have Sojin. The Flame and Manipulator. The Violet Crystal. 
And uh, even though with the even though with the 25th anniversary ones, I still haven't got all the cards, like all the commons or rares and super rares yet either. Um, so there's still quite a lot of cards I can still complete from this set too. Uh, remove trap. Another ray and temperature. The vile germ. The silver fang. And another nostalgic card here, Reaper of the Cards, rare. That looks pretty cool too. This is number 71. Number 71 is at a okay-ish 24 cents. Ooh, that's, that's kind of funny. The Darkfire Dragon is worth more than the Reaper of the Cards. Now obviously this has been a nostalgic trip for Liam as well. What are some of your like, I guess, uh, uh, memories of this set as we roll through it? So for me, since the first season of the anime that I grew up with, it really did inspire the power of uh, love of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Because Kaiba the man, of you know, he is the man, you know, yeah, and he's the man with the money. You can't deny the, the power of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Like, even though like you would think like the Dark Magician will be worth more, People just love the blue eyes, even though like Kaiba's a very evil character, especially season one. But people still love him and still love the blue eyes. So absolutely, dude, absolutely, and I especially love the fact that he always had a good relationship with his younger brother, always doing for what he can. Oh yeah, that is that is true. Uh, we do have a rare here called the Flame Ghost. So first time I ever pulled this one as well. This is number twenty nine. Pretty cool design. That's the one thing I will say about the designs in the earlier generations. It's like it's it, it's like more demonic looking or evil looking, I guess. Well, that's a bad boy. Forty five cents, my friend. That's actually really good. <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> I, I, for for a rare, especially for a rare, especially. All right, one, two, three, and no four. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Beaver Warrior. The Mountain. The Witty Phantom. So witty. Uh, the Steel Orc Gretel number one. The Skull Servant. Sparks. Turtle uh, Tiger. And then we have another fusion card here. Um, I think we got this one already before though. The Karubin the Fire Knight. Okay, 37 cents my friend, you can't argue with that. Yeah, it's decent, decent. That's actually not too bad for a, uh, for a rare. We haven't yet pulled anything super great. Like we're still waiting on like, a, like a, a super rare or maybe an ultra rare perhaps. Maybe an Exodia piece. Guys, are you pressing the like for luck? <laughs> Because if not, do so now. That's foreshadowing for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we have we have no idea what cards are gonna happen. But if for some reason we do pull something cool, like that's just a what what a funny coincidence. All right, <clears throat> we have the Mammoth Graveyard. Surprisingly, I think it's the first time I pulled this one. Maybe, maybe a few times. It's actually kind of a rare common. Uh, Flame Manipulator. The Batik Dragon. The Follow Win. The Frenzy Panda Express. The Electro Whip. The M Warrior number one. I think I'm still missing number two. Uh, the Hard Armor. <laughs> and we get a decent rare here. This is a Hain Hain number 110. This is actually a very good card back in the day. Back in my day. Well, back in my day, that was worth a lot more than 12 cents. Ah, <laughs> oh, 12 cents. All right, guys. Nice little quick video for, for you guys today. Obviously, um, we have a lot of things in the back burner that we want to open, not, not just from the Yu-Gi-Oh side, but definitely from the Pokemon side as well. But it's not always about the new and flashy cards. Sometimes we want to go back to uh, some cards that we just want to, you know, one, like packs we want to complete in our collection. Oh, I did a card trick wrong. <laughs> God damn it. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, we have the Dark Energy. The Sandstone. 
the one-eyed shield a dragon, the two-mouthed dark ruler, the dissolver rock, the typhoon, the dark king of the abyss. And we get two here. We got a rare and also a super rare, since I already saw the super rare. But the rare card here is Final Flame, which we pulled once before. We're not going to pull that price because the second card here, which is also a card we pulled already in our previous part, is Swords of Veering Light. This is number 101 Super Rare. Oh, well, Swords. Wow, buddy. That's $1.51. Dang, okay, okay. So it's still holding quite a big value. It's a nice good it's a, it's a nice good stalling card for sure. Iconic stalling card. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, and now four. Ooh, there we go. Uh, M Warrior number two. You're, I was looking for you. Hey that rhyme. <laughs> uh Sojin. Uh Skull Redbird. Ooh, uh, that's right. We haven't got the Man Eater bug yet as well. That'd be a nice iconic. Uh, I think that's an ultra. That's rare. a rare card in general. Um, yeah, uh, Succubus Knight is next. The Mystical Sheep number two. Where's number one? <laughs> uh, Sil Silver Bow and Arrow. The Vile Germ. And we have Fissure. That's a, I think we got that one for as well. This is number 57, Fissure. Uh, Fissure is currently at the price of 41 cents. That's actually really good too. Like th these actually uh, holding up decent value because obviously these these packs came out back in July, which is, was it? Uh, according to, for this recording session, what, four months ago? Yeah. Yeah, so and it's, it's holding this price pretty well. I'm actually kind of surprised, kind of surprised. For some reason, this one's upside down. <laughs> Konami, <laughs> like, like that one's upside down. Oh, <laughs> I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it myself. But that's of course the card that we want to look at later. Uh, this is the Trap Wire Beast. I couldn't find this card for the longest, and now we're getting duplicates. M Warrior number two. Uh, Petite Dragon. If you ask, you shall receive in duplicates. <laughs> um, Yurabi. The Two Mouth Dark Ruler, yet again. The Trial of Nightmare, which used to be called the Trial of Hell. So that was a, that, that's something you definitely want in the first edition LOBs, because of the Trial of Hell. The Toshimi Giant. The Root Warrior. And the card that was upside down, was only a rare, a fusionist, fusionist cat. Uh, number 22. That is at the price of 30 cents, my friend. Okay, not the greatest of values there. All right, final two packs. Come on, give me, come on, give me an Exodia piece. What is happening here? I don't care if it's the left hand or the right hand. Obviously, we want, the, we want the head of Exodia, but damn. I think we pulled th that once before, right? Like we did like a, um, uh, I think a 2017 reprint opening. And I think we pulled an Exodia head as well. Yeah, we did. But uh, yeah, so that was a pretty epic, exciting opening. Uh, we had the Fire Sea King. I'm, I would say the course right there. The Furious Sea King. The Forest. The Legendary Sword. The Green Phantom King. The Dark Will Thorns. Yami. The Laser Cannon Armor. Ooh, okay. So we have uh, we have a pot of greed here. Rare. And <gasps> Yes! We called it my friend! We have the head Exodia, the Forbidden! <laughs> God damn it! We always do this every recording, man. It's always the last two packs. Oh my god! But we, we, uh, nevertheless, excitement set aside. We do have two good cards here. Let's, uh, let's, so let's look at Pot of Greed at one nineteen. One hundred. 
I love that card. I know it's a it's a card. I, I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. Maybe you guys can tell me what this card does. So leave that bad boy. Two dollars and sixty-five cents. That is epic. That is epic. That's definitely one of the higher of the rares. Now for the Exodia, the Forbidden One. Number 124. The head. Not even the left or right arm or left leg, whatever. We have the head of Exodia. <laughs> I sleeve that at $29.50, my friend. Oh! <laughs> hell. hell yes. Okay, I am happy. This is, a, it's, this is an awesome day. Awesome day. And we still got one more pack, guys. Could we somehow get a red eyes? I'm not sure how many total uh, ultra rares I got so far. Obviously, we pulled so much of these, but um, it's possible we go get one more ultra rare. So definitely press the like. Good luck. All right, here we go. <clears throat> we have the fire grass, the meta bat, the witty phantom. The Dragon Treasure. The Mystical Beast, Sheep number two. Terra, the Terra Ball. Masaki, the Legendary Swordsman. The um, uh, Silver Bone Arrow. And we finish off on a whimper in, of the Car. car Bon, Carbonella? Carbonella? Warrior? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. That's not too bad to win, my friend. 50 cents. Oh, okay. For a rare, that's actually really good, too. I'm telling you, these rares? I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is, but maybe um, people are not holding them or maybe they're selling often or something. But uh, they're holding decent value. So this is actually a pretty decent opening. I, I was not expecting a huge um, card, but. We did. We pulled the Exodia. The head of Exodia. So even though we don't have the left, right arm, left arm, left leg, and right leg, we got, the, we got the main one. We got the main one. But nevertheless, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely thank you so much for the view. Obviously, um, as soon as we get done with this, we're moving on to the next of the 20th anniversary booster set, which of course is Metal Raiders. And hopefully you guys tune in for that one we're looking forward to seeing just how much we can complete that set but nevertheless thanks thanks again for the view and we'll definitely see you next time my name is talos that's my boy mr bear and we'll definitely see you next time peace peace